trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Another quick review for you guys. I'm here to tell you what I discovered about Trail Looks. Basically, product review on the Trail Looks products. I was excited to try it. I know a lot of you told me you were excited to try it as well. So here I am to let you know if it really works, especially for like tighter curls and type 4 hair and stuff. So yeah, let's find out. First of all, this line has no deep conditioner, no rinse or conditioner. I checked the website a million times to make sure I'm not crazy and that's what the real deal is. I checked the description to make sure that they didn't say deep conditioner or condition anywhere. And I followed their steps exactly. And this is what my result is or this is what happened. Basically... Spoiler alert, I mean this is my result, this is like day three and I do, I do think it's okay, I don't think it's like life changing or anything but you know I do have some definition, I do have some frizz, um, I can definitely get a week out of it which is my minimum. My hair doesn't feel particularly soft or moisturized but it's not rock hard or straw dry either so it's just like a hmm. But let me get into the details of how I, what I use and what I thought of each product. I started off with the cleanser, the Curl Renew and Restore. And I will say I love this cleanser. This is one thing that I'll definitely be considering purchasing from the line. Because my hair felt really soft and really, you know, like gentle. It definitely is a gentle cleansing rinse because it felt gentle. But it cleansed my hair, it smelled great, it foamed without being stripping. So I did love this cleanser. So it is a kind of just a nice light consistency it just has a nice scent like a really light sugar type scent that I really like so I really enjoyed using this cleanser as you guys can see <laughs> but unfortunately that's pretty much where the box stopped in terms of a good time and this line after the cleanser they tell you basically to go directly to the leave-in there's no conditioning step so I waited until I had a week where my hair was pretty moisturized and like it wasn't super dry to try this as you guys know, I like to shampoo every wash day, but I kind of have to these days with my gym schedule. Shampoo every wash day and deep condition every wash day. So this is my first wash day in forever. Like going a whole week washing my hair and not deep conditioning. So I waited until like I had used like Uncle Funky last week. What deep conditioner did I use? My hair was moisturized. I think I used the Honey's Handmade and it wasn't my favorite. The review is coming soon, but it definitely did the moisturized part. So my hair was moisturized coming into this wash day. And I, for me, Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic, is a bit heavy, but that's pretty much the heaviest thing I used. So I didn't have a lot to get off. The cleanser didn't have a lot of work to do or anything like that. But anyway, I cleansed my hair. Things were going good. My hair was soft, not stripped, clean, ready to go. Even had some definition. But unfortunately, the leave-in completely failed me. So this is the leave-in, untie the knot. And the sad thing is I used more than half of it, almost all of it, <laughs> in one wash day. Because, okay, I just rinsed the shampoo, I'm supposed to use the leave-in. How do you even do that? The directions kind of just set to apply generously all over. So I kind of applied it like a rinse out at first. So I applied it all over. Didn't have much slip at all, so it was a struggle. Didn't, wasn't moisturizing at all either. So I wouldn't say at all, but moisturizing level, maybe 3 out of 10 for moisture so it moisturizes a little bit but definitely on the par and not as good as like the leave-ins that I like so it comes out like a white cream and so on but it's not I don't know it just doesn't do much for me it just feels like water in my hair my hair still felt kind of rough and everything like you know my strands are coarse so it didn't smooth my cuticle it didn't add moisture or anything I do like the scent it has like a musky I want to say fruity, like maybe a musky tomato scent or musky sweet scent, but I do like the scents of these, but I think that's the only good thing I can say about the leave-in, because it didn't really, didn't moisturize my hair, it didn't have good enough slip, and it didn't give me any definition at all, so yeah, the struggle was real, trying to go from cleanser to leave-in, the struggle was real for my tight curls, coarse, kinky hair. So um, I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. This is going into my spray bottle. The little bit that's left of it is going to be in my spray bottle until done. And I'll be glad to see the back of this and never see it again, pretty much. I mean, I do like the ingredients of all of these. The ingredients were nice. I love the packaging, I love the scents, and I love the ingredients. And I love the cleanser, but the leave-in was definitely a hard pass for me. It just was not it. It was not it. And last but not least, we have the Curl Enhancing Styling Gel. So they pretty much said to apply this on soaking wet hair. 
So after I kind of put in the leave-in and I sectioned it and then I kind of wet my hair again a little bit and applied this gel. It is a pretty thick gel but it's not super, it's a little slimy but it's not super slimy. Like you'd almost think that there was carbon in here but there isn't. I guess the propylene glycol is probably what gives it this texture. It didn't really like lay out my hair or anything like that. It did add definition but I could tell that it was frizzy as well. So I had no idea where it was going to go from there. Like if it held, which it did, I was going to have the fine frizz. If it didn't hold, I was going to have just frizz frizz. So I wasn't sure after applying the product, I was still like okay, maybe. It has like I guess a fresh clean scent, I guess a kind of fresh clean perfumey type scent. I guess something like maybe laundry detergent in a good way, <laughs> I guess. So it's not quite chemically but it's almost there but it's like kind of fresh clean if you think happy thoughts. Kind of chemically gel if you don't in terms of the scent. My hair had that feeling of being kind of defined on the outside but not juicy on the inside which is when I know that Houston we have a problem. Usually when that happens I kind of re-wet my hair and try to get it to soak in more moisture but that happens when my hair didn't get enough moisture basically during the wash day or when the gel is kind of funky. The gel did have better slip than the leave-in so at least we were getting some somewhere in terms of slip. It probably had better moisture than the leave-in which is to say it had moisture. Not to say it was like Uncle Funky Camille Rose moisturizing but it was better than nothing. Like for moisture the gel might get like a six and a half or something. So pair with a decent leave-in which I guess I'll try next time. It might even give even better results. But like I said you know my hair isn't super dry it's just not as moisturized as I want my hair to be after I buy some deluxe, trelux, fancy, sounding, vibing kind of product. My hair isn't super soft either like I like it to be. So it's not hard but it's like, I call it like a pastry -ish feel, like cereal. So that's the kind of cast that this leaves. Which of course isn't my favorite but of course it's better than rock hard. I actually found the answer for my hair for preventing gel casts which is great. So it's not like I'm exactly scared of casts in general because I know in the future okay I can just do this video coming up. I can just do this and prevent the cast in the future. My hair, my hair doesn't do scrunch and all crunch. Like once there's a cast, that's kind of it. Like no matter if I stretch, if I spritz, if I, you know, whatever, it's going to recast itself after a while. I just have really stiff, wiry texture here. But the crunch wasn't like horrible. It just was enough to make me not love it. I don't see myself repurchasing this gel either, but it's getting me through the week. So that's basically it. Cleanser I think I'm gonna get again. Leave-in hex no. Gel, I don't think so. But it wasn't that bad. And like you, like I said before, I can see the definition and I can see the frizz. So the gel overall I guess was okay. And this is my result, day three. I am gonna get a week out of it. <laughs> I hope this helped you out. Those of you who were looking for the trail looks review, here it is. Let me know if you tried these and what you thought of it. And if you were thinking about trying it in your kinky hair, get your deep conditioner in between. I would not recommend the leave in. <laughs> I think we covered that. And the gel, at least it's gonna get you somewhere. It's not gonna leave you completely high and dry. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.